So methane and TSO have been around for quite some time. Maybe not in the current ownership, it's been passed around a little bit. However, they've been around for uh, many years, it says here 1886. Uh, they have made one of my favorite watches of all time, that is the Type 20. They did that in conjunction with Breguet and Aran, Dodane, uh, all of those manufacturers during World War II who made a mil-spec chronograph uh, for pilots. And it was a pretty awesome watch, and those are very collectible, especially the ones from Meth AT. So, very, very highly collectible watches. Uh, this is a watch that was actually sent to me by the Asia Mechanical Watches Group, a Facebook group who actually teamed up with Meth AT so to make a watch. And I have to say, it's a pretty cool watch. It's sort of a, uh, I guess, a Rolex Explorer homage, but it has a little bit of its own styling to it, and that's mostly in the bracelet. Uh, however, it is really, really nice. It comes in decent packaging. It's just a outer cardboard box, like a sleeve. Inner box is also cardboard. There's some like faux leather on the inside. You get a little pamphlet here, just international service and warranty information. Uh, it says 135 years there, obviously uh, capitalizing on the fact that Mathe Tiso have a very long history of watchmaking. Uh, and then there is for the uh, actual Facebook group, a little card and a sticker. And here is the watch. So you could see this has a lot of Rolex styling to it. And now what they went for with this watch is a wearable 34 millimeter size. So it's a very wearable 34 millimeter size. So for smaller wrists, this definitely will work very well. It has a very tight lug to lug. I believe it's around 42 millimeters lug to lug. If you include, uh, do not include the actual male end link. So it's 42.8. If you include those male end links, it's more around 48 millimeters is what I measured. And then it's just over 13 millimeters in thickness, including that very domed sapphire crystal as you can see it's a boxed and domed sapphire crystal you get a screwed in crown screwed in case back case back also looks very very rolex as you can see um and it just says asia mechanical watches group exclusive and as i said this is exclusively made for their group uh however you can buy one if you would like and i think they're coming out with a second edition because this might have already sold out i'm not entirely sure very big grippy crown which is signed with the Mathe Tiso logo. The dial itself, as you can see, you just have the nine, three, and six. These are all filled with loom, so we will do a loom shot at the end, and then you have Mercedes hands. A black dial just says Mathe Tiso, automatic. Very, very simple, very straightforward dial. Very vintage Rolex, obviously, what they're sort of going for. Uh, polished bezel, and then you have just polished sides. The back of the lugs are polished. That's all the polished parts on the watch except for uh, of the uh, crown tip as well. Uh, everything is brushed, you have brushed tops here uh, and the entire bracelet is brushed. Now the bracelet is actually very interesting. You have uh, screw pins, so the pins are screwed but they are double screwed, so there's a little screw that goes in one side and there's a screw that actually slides through the entire um, uh, link. They are very solid links and they are all through the uh, entire case. It sort of looks, uh, entire bracelet, excuse me, it sort of looks like a riveted bracelet uh, and I kind of like it. I like the look a lot. And then you get obviously a milled clasp which is also signed. Now one thing I did notice about the bracelet, it does stick a little bit because if you tighten all of the screws, it'll actually stick just a little bit as you can see. It'll stick and then it'll go back to normal. Obviously that doesn't bother you when you're wearing it. It does taper a little bit. As you can see, it starts out at around, I believe around 18 millimeters. It goes down to around 16 millimeters. Let me double check that though. Um, so it does taper just a little bit, 16 millimeters. And then I believe this is around 20 millimeters. So yeah, it's 20 millimeters at the lugs. Um, and then it goes down to 16 millimeters. So uh, very nice setup on this watch. I think it looks really good and it also has a Swiss movement in it. And what they have put in here is a movement that you do not normally hear about or see very often in, uh, in Swiss watches recently. Uh, one reason or another, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe they are going to be making a comeback. Um, I'm not sure if these are original movements. So in other words, if these are old stock movements because I believe that Etta took over this brand. It is the MT224 and that's the Perso. Perso was 
uh, a Swiss brand. It was They've been making movements for a very, very long time. They were taken over by the Etta Group, I believe. However, I am not 100% sure of that. If you do know, please put a uh, comment in the description below. I'd really like to know um, who actually owns this uh, manufacturer now, and if they are part of the Etta Group, that would be very interesting. Um, so, very quickly, I'm going to throw it on my wrist, and then we'll talk about price just a little bit, uh, and then we will do a loom shot. Today, I am wearing my Tissot. This is the PRX, the Powermatic 80 version. I just actually made a full review for this just a little while ago. It is just an awesome watch. So here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it wears really nicely on my wrist. This is a 34 millimeter watch. It has a 48 millimeter lug to lug if you include those male end links. If you do not, it's about 42, 43 almost. Uh, and it's a 13 millimeter thickness, including that boxed sapphire crystal, as you can see, uh, which nicely distorts. It has AR coating as well. Uh, just a really nice little package, a very nice tight little package with a Swiss made movement. It is a Swiss watch as well. Um, and uh, the only thing I would say, the only downfall of it is the bracelet. You do need to be careful with links like this, with screwed links like this. Uh, they suggest even using uh, Loctite with them. So once you do have it sized, you use Loctite and that'll actually keep those screws in. Uh, and that's what I'll be doing with this because uh, you don't want that actually to come out. You will lose the watch if the uh, if the uh, bracelet does come loose. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks really good on my 7.5 inch wrist. This is a $399 watch, and I think that's a very good price for an automatic Swiss-made watch uh, from a brand with a name that is actually recognizable, that has a history. Uh, whether or not it can be linked directly to the current owners, uh, that's the case for a lot of watches out there. Um, and this is no exception. So um, definitely a very cool watch uh, and a very good looking watch. I'm going to do a loom shot because this does have loom. Uh, so we can check that out and then we will wrap up the video. Well, there you have it. Not that bad. Uh, pretty decently applied. I wouldn't say it's liberally applied, but it is applied pretty well on those indices and hands. Uh, a little bit brighter would have been nice. However, you can see that nine, six, and three are loomed, and then all of the indices in hands, even the lollipop on the second hand is loomed as well. $399 for a very nice little package, Swiss made, automatic, uh, with a movement that you don't see very often, which I think is pretty cool. I always like that. 34 millimeters, sapphire crystal, uh, which is domed and boxed, looks really sharp obviously going for that Rolex Explorer, vintage Rolex Explorer look. And definitely you can see that in this watch. Even the bracelet sort of looks a little bit reminiscent of uh, those vintage Explorer bracelets as well. Uh, those riveted bracelets. It doesn't look exactly like a riveted bracelet. So uh, I do like that as well because it's not exactly the same. Uh, screwing crown, screwing case back. So it should be a very good everyday watch especially with someone who wants something that is a little bit smaller, if they have a smaller wrist or a wrist on the smaller side, even someone with a wrist my size could definitely pull it off. But tell me what you guys think of this watch in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Watch Chris Blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.